1251 AM. 1251 AM. 1251 AM. I love raw. Good morning. That was Coldplay with Paradise. You're listening to Faces for Radio with me, Miles Poole, James Evans, All right. and Alex Stratton Lake. Hello. With Faces for Radio, this is Gym Class Heroes with The Fighter. <laughs> And that was Gym Class Heroes with The Fighter. Uh, you're listening to Faces Radio. That first song, Coldplay, Paradise, that was Alex's choice. Interesting uh, thank choice. Thank you very much. Interesting thank choice for 9am on a Thursday morning. Well, you know, you're struggling to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> you want to sort of liven yourself up a bit. I think Coldplay is the perfect nothing, choice. Nothing, nothing like Coldplay to motivate people to get out of bed. Um, Alex, you went to the SU's heavy metal event, Crash a few days ago, didn't you? Did they play any Coldplay there? Or um, no, no. no. Uh, there wasn't that much Gym Class Heroes. No, you, uh, no Coldplay, no <laughs> Gym Class Heroes. Any Maximo Park? Will we play some of that later? I'm sure there was a remix of, of one of Maximo Park's hits. Really? So okay. I'm sure there was. There we go. <laughs> um, news. We've got some news uh, for our listeners, haven't we? We've got a story. Well, what we can news tell is them. that? Beautiful story. Um, okay, off the Daily Mail, where, you know, everyone gets all their quality news quality stories. Quality news source. Stories. Yeah, absolutely wrong. quality. Um, uh, just about a guy um, called, called Jim, yeah, sort of yeah. an unassuming name, Completely unassuming. who has, as a pet, a 1,600-pound buffalo. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah. I'm impressed. As, like, a family pet. A family pet, yep. He says um, it isn't just sort of, uh, sort of a gimmick. Treats him with a lot of respect. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's he's got Bailey Bailey Junior because unfortunately his previous buffalo because he has had two. <laughs> <laughs> like you do, you do, you do. Why stop at one Why when you can have two? Um, yeah, unfortunately Bailey the mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey Senior died. Um, and a hilarious quote from Jim the owner. Oh, was, hang on, we're talking about. Something that he's loved and lost. I don't think we yeah. can <laughs> joke about this, isn't it? No, no, okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, but I'll just I'll read out the quote. All right, read out, read out the quote. Yeah. Jim talking about his morning of uh, Bailey Senior dying. He says, um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I didn't grieve this much when my dad died. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Well, um, so, I mean, um, if you're com- this guy's committed yeah. to buffaloes. Yeah. He certainly is. That's, he, that's he touching. Is. That is touching. <laughs> that is way. touching. Um, and, um, I mean, this news story it inspired us to do our weekly yeah, Would I've, You Rather. I've got session. a Would You Rather on this, guy. Yeah. so uh, give, me, give me the jingle. <laughs> give me the jingle. Hey, guys. Live jingles. Would you... Would you... Would you... Rather... That. That. That's quality radio. Was inspiring. Is. So my uh, Would You Rather today yeah. is... Would you rather... Be a buffalo yeah. in a house yeah. owned by a man called Jim. Yeah. Okay. Or would you rather own a buffalo and be Jim? Okay. <laughs> that's that's my so, yeah. So you're you're either the buffalo or okay. the buffalo owner um, in this scenario. There are no other. And options. listeners, please that's please text please and text email in. Send to yeah. 075 070 8777. Okay. So would you, would you rather be a buffalo? Or a be buffalo a, owner? No, or yeah, no. That's the, the would you rather is be a buffalo or own a buffalo? Wow, um, it's pretty limited today. <laughs> you don't have you don't have a range of options. Um, I think I think I'd rather be the buffalo. And why, yeah, why is I that can, was? I can imagine it. It'd be quite an easy life. Just, just yeah, chilling around the yeah, house. that's true. Actually, um, I mean, you're looked after, you're groomed. Yeah. Well, Turn out you're treat, according to the Daily Mail, you're treated with a lot of respect. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is obviously a very loving owner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that would put you under a lot of pressure if you were Jim, looking yeah. after the buffalo, yeah. because you'd have he's to be... He's got such an emotional attachment. He's got such an emotional well. attachment, you wouldn't want to... To Bailey Jr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <Bailey> Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Strange name. Uh, we're going to have some, some more music, I think. We're going to have uh, yeah. okay. some Maximo Park. Yeah. We're going to uh, apply some pressure. <laughs> that's, uh, that's hilarious. I see what you did. That's yeah, I see what you brilliant. did. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is Maximo Park. We apply, apply some pressure. pressure. 
and that was Maximo Park. Uh, we've had a response on our Buffalo Witty Rava, which is a yeah. bit of a shocker. We wow. don't usually expect <laughs> people to actually text <laughs> in or email in. Not with the novelty of the second show. Yeah, uh, yeah. Novelty's the novelty's gone, gone now um, from the first show. Uh, but we have people. But the spark is still here. The yeah. spark is still yeah. here. <laughs> uh, and they say, I think I'd rather own a Buffalo, and I think I'd do a better job than Jim. <sighs> Is that Ooh. a challenge? Throwing that a down challenge the gauntlet, the I'd say. I'd say that's really throwing down the gauntlet. Uh, they also say anyone choosing the Buffalo option is safe with me. So do text in, do email in to the show uh, for the Would You Rather. Would you rather own a Buffalo or be a Buffalo? Uh, we haven't actually asked our very own Alec his opinion yet. I'm just wondering, you know Buffalo's rage at red? The yeah. colour red? Yeah. Well, I that? mean, would you, would you suffer from that if you were a Buffalo? <laughs> um, I assume you couldn't wear red clothes. Yeah, I would assume, because that would limit my wardrobe. Actually, being a buffalo would limit my wardrobe as well. Well, you say that, but Jim seems like the sort of guy who would go out of his way to dress his (laughs) own buffalo. Very true, very true. (laughs) Miles, you've got an interesting fact about uh, buffaloes. This buffalo story reminds me of a story I've got in my repertoire. (laughs) <laughs> how, how many stories do you have in your repertoire? Not a lot. Not, not a lot. Um, <laughs> but this is a, I hope it's a good one. I, um, a few years ago, I went on holiday to Wales, and we stayed in a bed and breakfast. Um, we came down in the morning, and there was just a sheep lying in the kitchen. A sheep? Yeah. Just now, sheep. I know this is Wales. But I'm still dubious <laughs> as to whether or not this story has any it's, truth. It's a true story. It's I don't know story. if you just made this it up. It just came in the house and walked around like a family pet. What, the, the, the sheep, what, so the sheep was, you were in a hotel? No, a bed and breakfast. A bed and breakfast, and yeah. a sheep was just wandering. Did he own a room? Had he, had he booked yeah, out a room? He had a little mat on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> idea that for a phone. Been his coat, I don't know. Guys, what is the strangest animal you've ever seen indoors? <laughs> Let us know on uh, 075-071-8777, studio at warwick dot, oh, studio at radio dot warwick dot ac dot uk. And um, Jim, please don't phone him. We, <laughs> yeah, we, we know you've got a buffalo, we know so we... it's not going to impress anyone. <laughs> uh, we've got friendly fires coming up with... Uh, Blue cassette. Blue cassette. We were going to play video games. The video games by Lana, someone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's, just, that's just showing off our musical knowledge. <laughs> yeah. to, we, um, to it. we didn't really like it, did we? Yeah, it was to move us on to our next story. Um, but yeah, we listened to it and we thought it wasn't. Despite the fact we played Coldplay, we thought it might not be the mood for this time of morning. <laughs> <laughs> Despite we played Coldplay. Yeah. Um, so here is uh, Friendly Fires with uh, Blue Cassette. And that was Friendly Fires with Blue Cassette. Sort of, um, sort of sums up f- uh, Friendly Fires, doesn't it? Sort of a random collection of noises <laughs> sort of a, with a deadpan singing going over it. Not a big fan, Alec? Wasn't my choice, so I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd have another Coldplay then song. And then, uh, <laughs> and then again, Coldplay was your choice. Yeah, so I don't think you really it, can be trusted. Uh, we've actually had a, an email in complaining about the fact that we're playing Coldplay at this hour, <laughs> even after we <laughs> complained on air. So, in fact, it does see all we seem to do on this show is just moan about the choices the other co-presenters have made. Or we'll just moan about the other co-presenters in general. Yeah, I, I mean, we don't, we don't actually get on at all. No. Outside, outside this radio show. Yeah. We just, we've just been sort of forced into this. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> nothing better to do. Um, we've had some more emails come in uh, on the, the Buffalo Would You Rather. Um, Calvin says, I think it's right to grieve more uh, for the Buffalo's death than his dad's death. There's 20 times more buffalo to love. <laughs> that's very true. I think that's a legitimate point. Um, uh, but to be f- he's making an assumption on how big his Jim's father was. Yes. We are talking about America where people do <laughs> get, you know, quite <laughs> large. Um, um, we have another email from Laura who says, uh, I'm listening in Wales and find sheep in my house all the time. <laughs> is, this just the Wales is this something I just completely <laughs> overlooked? I've been to Wales. They don't <laughs> just roll in and out willy-nilly. In my experience, they do. Okay, well, uh, she <laughs> I, love, I love the Welsh commitment to their own stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> she says, they're not pets, they, they live here. They're, 
they're, you know, as if they're people. We should Members respect of them as such. Um, my friend has a bat in her fridge. A bat in her fridge? This is, uh, this is, that's not the best part of the email. The best part of the email is, it is dead though, so I'm not sure it counts. Um, <laughs> what a startling revelation, right? <laughs> that, to be fair, that is a strange animal in, that is a strange animal indoors. Um, so we could give her that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we didn't, we didn't we specify whether award. or not it needed a heartbeat. So <laughs> we could give her a award, or we could phone the RSPC. <laughs> yeah, you've, uh, you've got us there on a technicality, Laura. You've got um, us on a technicality. We also have a message directed specifically to Alec, uh, which I much. think is from one of his mates. Uh, <laughs> that sounded a bit bitter, has. didn't it? His mates, who aren't, who aren't even me or Miles, um, and that's. Not. Did Alex see the really drunk guy at Crash, which is our SU event? He uh, probably was. He probably was that drunk guy at Crash. <laughs> so, I mean... Obviously, I don't condone the use of excessive alcohol. No, I mean... Um, yeah. No. So, I so, don't distance myself from... Certain that particular, Yeah, from that particular person in the SU. I think he displayed... Disgraceful well, behaviour. Oh yeah, complete I mean, thank God it was dignity. Yeah, complete lack. <laughs> complete lack. So thank God that wasn't me. Yeah, thank God. Uh, <laughs> and we don't condone the use of alcohol on faces for radio, or, or 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 elsewhere. I mean, we don't condone it here in the studio, but <laughs> elsewhere. No, we still don't. No, no, we no. Don't. Well, we're not drinking on air either. That no. would be a bad idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, not to be joked about. Uh, yeah, so we're getting back to why we played Friendly Fires. We were going to play a song called Video Games, but me and Miles listened to it and thought, it's a bit rubbish, really. Uh, didn't really no like offence to those Lana. people who requested it. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we were going to use video games as a sort of a tie-in with our next story. A way to segue into <laughs> the next section. It's not a saying. That isn't a saying, is it? I, I mean, how do sayings start in the first place, though? I mean, surely you just... You I just use them on, on radio. <laughs> so, <laughs> transport and then Celebrity there. endorsement. So there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, Alex. So our next on. story. Um, I read recently that... Um, a panorama type program on ITV. I think it's called Expose. Exposure. 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 Yes, that's it. Yeah. Um, they were doing a documentary on the um, link between Gaddafi and IRA and all that sort of stuff. Um, and they showed a clip of IRA troops shooting down a helicopter. And it turns out, after extensive research by the YouTube community, <laughs> that... <laughs> It's just from a video game. It's not real footage at and, all. And, and if you look at it, I mean, it's so blatantly <laughs> obvious. This video. I mean, we've, there's clipping issues, so you've got like a, a truck sort of hovering about <laughs> a metre off the air, and the people are too The guys, they're, they're just standing still, perfectly still. Even though there's a helicopter blowing up in the distance, <laughs> just oblivious to it. Well, these guys are these guys are a sort of hard, you know, they're sort of real tough guys. So I mean, that that's not completely completely out of the ordinary. So the way the uh, the helicopter explodes in sort of under four seconds is uh, it's incredibly it's incredible. More if you, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. It's, it's on the internet somewhere. Well, I think I think this opens up a sort of range of opportunities for using uh, games in other news stories and other TV shows, for that matter. I mean, can we think of any? Text in. Text in if you've got any ideas. Um, here's a good one. No one really... I'm pretty sure no one watches Crime Watch anymore. <laughs> loop Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. That, that <laughs> would be a more interesting Crime Watch. More entertaining, be. certainly. And the videos um, would be in colour instead of that. Sort of greeny, black CCTV. and white usually yeah. use. Uh, Graphics are getting better. Big Brother. <laughs> big Brother is usually pretty dull. I'm not a big fan. Maybe some people are. Well, obviously some people are. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. Let's, let's just let's just knock on The Sims. Yeah, just, just play The Sims. Yeah. Just watch people play The Sims instead. You say Big Brother's boring, but I mean, if you think about it, mm. how is The Sims entertaining? <laughs> <laughs> because. Wait, a deadly oh, smile. Yeah, yeah, we all yeah, try and complete think. radio silence. <laughs> the most deadly radio in radio silence when you try and think what exactly makes The Sims an entertaining game. It's just not. Actually, you can put people in a swimming pool, take away the ladder, <laughs> and do they you, just. Did you ever do that as a sort of? 
You know, I was about as early... a sort of power hungry child. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, sort of in your early teens. You know, <laughs> we, had... we discussed last last week how I was bullied, and I felt like. The Sims was a way to exact my revenge on someone. <laughs> Watching them suffer was... Uh, and then making a graph about how they died on the Sims. <laughs> yeah, graphing it. <laughs> Pie chart. Ways my Sims have died. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, you could uh, set up couples as well through Sims. And yeah, then, uh, that, was, that was my way of engaging in relationships <laughs> as sort of a preteen. And <laughs> as, as that provided you with the experience you needed to well, be I, in I, a successful <laughs> <laughs> well, the Sims tend to uh, talk a load of rubbish, don't they? And uh, I mean, that's sort of a key skill in relationships. Isn't <laughs> <that>? <laughs> I suppose. I mean, we could, if we do run out of things to say, we may just sort of descend into Sims gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd already done so, <laughs> to be honest. Um, what well, else could you do? You could um, F1. You could make F1 a lot, lot more interesting, couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, at least half the people who watch F1 watch it for the crashes. Yeah. Yeah. And there are games specifically designed for, you know, crashing cars, like Ex- Burnout. Burnout, exactly. So and then you respawn. If you don't know, uh, Burnout's a game where essentially you get points <laughs> for <laughs> crashing into cars <laughs> and creating mass destruction. As much damage as possible. Exactly. Really. And Which is really why people are watching F1. Exactly. That's what you want motorsport to be. <laughs> Put that on. And I'm sure viewers, well, hundreds, thousands. <laughs> <laughs> the competition's not important. No one looks at the tables. Exactly. Everyone yeah. just watches the crashes, watches the crashes again. Yeah. It would be beautiful. Just looping. It would be beautiful. Just looping. Yeah. Are there any more we can think of? Text in. FIFA. FIFA, yeah, the football. F- yeah. No one... Don't no need really, to pay all those really players. So <laughs> 30 quid, buy the new FIFA, loot that. It saves millions. Also, there are a lot of uh, sort of licensing issues around showing, like, live football mm. and uh, around showing football on the news in fact oh, so if you just if you just uh, score a goal on FIFA and go yeah they scored today <laughs> that's fine you know that's a substitute and then if you're losing just switch the controller you're on the other team score a few own goals switch back again oh, I'm not sure what we're suggesting anymore I think we're now <laughs> just suggesting people just stop watching football and just start, <laughs> start playing, playing games <laughs> because because that's, that's more that's a kind of nerdy characters that we yeah, are yeah. <laughs> That's I a cool suggest- image we're uh, putting across. <laughs> Our best suggestion today so far is shun the outside <laughs> world. <laughs> and play games. Play video games. A, a lot more fun. A lot <laughs> you more don't fun. even need a TV licence. You, t- oh, <laughs> exactly. you do need uh, a sort of £300 Xbox as opposed to a, yeah. a sort of £90 TV But as license. students, yeah. which one are we more likely to have? We're more likely to have the games console, Well, we? hang on, we're not putting down the TV licence on air. I mean, <laughs> it's, everyone it's sign up to that. <laughs> Are you scared of the BBC the censoring BBC. us or something? Yeah, I mean, they might be listening in. You never know. Also, if we're looking for uh, radio careers on the BBC, uh, we're going to want to promote the TV licence, because that's ultimately where our wages are going to come yep, from. Yeah, I just... Well, I just... <laughs> Hey I'd up! Like, yeah, I'd like to take some time to say how much I enjoy the BBC's program. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> top quality program. It's better than ITV, just playing games. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but even their documentaries. Yeah, I and mean, they don't even have any radio stations that we could potentially get jobs at. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, we got some more music. You're probably bored of us talking about our future career plans. Um, which are never going to come to fruition, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, uh, this is a recommendation from Miles. Uh, I've never been a big fan of uh, Vampire Weekend. I mean, sorry, we've just done it again, haven't we? We've just, <laughs> we've just criticised the music we're playing on our show. But we've got, we've got a punk. A one, punk? One word. A, a punk. Coldplay. I think, I yeah, think we're going up yeah. in the world. If you're going <laughs> to, yeah. If you're going to criticise it. Yeah, alright, fine. Uh, <laughs> well, this is Vampire Weekend with A Punk. And that was Vampire Weekend, A Punk. James actually said during that song, <laughs> I like this song, I didn't realise it was this song. <laughs> I didn't realise it was Vampire Weekend. <laughs> I've, I've never been a fan of them, but I actually really like that song. It's a good song. It is a good song. We're introducing a new feature today. Um, do we have a Do we have a live jingle for our new feature? We don't. I, we don't. I don't think oh, we do. Just, we should, oh, should, should have a go. Come up with one on air. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Miles, hit me with your. Wait. With so your we, the, it's called Overplayed Song of the Week. Overplayed Song so, of the Week. Um, overplayed Song of the Week. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> Amazing. Oh, that, was that was amazing. Wonder- that was quite <laughs> something. They're definitely improving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, should we say a little bit about this feature? Um, yeah. Yeah, um, basically. Uh, just, just to... Um, say that last song we played wasn't the overplayed song <laughs> no no oh no <laughs> even Although though it, it even though it is very overplayed it's not the overplayed song overplayed um, song of the week this song reminds uh, me of oh, about year 11 yeah yeah maybe it's early six form takes yeah. us back uh Three or four years? There's maybe? definitely mixed opinions on it. Yeah. I, I like uh, it, personally. Well, basically, the point of the feature is whether or not you like the song uh, more now you've heard it played a thousand times. <laughs> or Probably not. Or before, before it got heard the possible. first time you heard it. Yeah. I, I mean, I talk about overplayed songs. How annoying is it when you sort of, you found a song which no one else has heard? Mm. You start preaching it. You sound so sort of cool. <laughs> you sound indie. Yeah. And then it becomes, it becomes popular. Uh, becomes popular. <laughs> it's oh, overplayed to death. Don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> last week, when we were planning our show for last week, or we've given away that we plan these shows, believe it or not, we do. Um, I was talking to Miles about uh, Frank Turner. Who going, no one's ever heard so, of. A little, little artist I know called uh, <laughs> Frank Turner. It's like... I love the fact that you think you're really Indian cool, but actually everyone knows who he is. <laughs> Hipster. A- Alec, back me up. Four years ago, I was raving on about Frank Turner. No one, <laughs> no one could care less. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you were saying it, so that was probably part <laughs> and of I the have point. Next to no musical knowledge, <laughs> so it was quite impressive. I'm sure. I'm sure you were the reason that it became popular. You start. You're a trendsetter. You are. Yeah. You're on first name basis, in fact, aren't you? Oh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, me, and, me and Frank, we've had emails back and forth. Uh, <laughs> you, just, just like me and Steve chance. Merchant are on a first name <laughs> basis, because I did a, an interview with him in the board and spoke to him for about 30 seconds outside his uh, stand-up show. Wow. 30 seconds. Yeah. Wow. That's our gateway into radio success. Yeah, it is. I mean, Steve sat in this studio, um, what, I don't know, 20 years ago now? So... Fair play. Fair play. How many jokes did you manage to fit into the 30 seconds of time you spent? Um, I, I, I didn't really get to reveal my uh, comedic value to him, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I just said, that is gutting. me and my friends are desperately trying to emulate your success. <laughs> desperately. <laughs> uh, desperately, as, as you can tell, listeners. As Which you can brings tell. me round to the fact... We've had barely any emails and a uh, text. Oh, you, don't need to, you don't need to highlight that. We have <laughs> had emails and text, and we are very grateful to those we of you who have grateful. continued to uh, um, listen to our show. This I've just the tell us that we've had a lot less. All right, week. let's not flag off the listeners. I so think we're going to have to try and move Miles away from the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm he's got a chair with wheels, so we can, fade, we can just slide him away. I'm just going to fade you out today, <laughs> Miles, I think. Um, we have had a text in whilst you've been moaning, uh, which congratulates us on our previous song pick, uh, Vampire Weekend A Punk. So thank you for that. Um, another message. Uh, Miles cannot talk. <laughs> <laughs> He's always very offended when he realises I know one of his cool, in quotation marks, songs. Um, oh, well. Uh, uh, well, um, stuttering. <laughs> not, uh, don't really have a comeback to that, do you, Miles? Oh, dear. Uh, uh, oh, dear, is all I'm going to say. So our overplayed well, song of the week the this week is Nickelback's Rockstar. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to see if we like it more now it's been played... Millions and millions of times, <laughs> or back when we first this, heard it. This feature does seem like it's only going to go one way. <laughs> <laughs> well, here it is uh, on popular demand. Nickelback's Rockstar. Hey, hey, I wanna be a rockstar. That was Nickelback with Rockstar. So, what are we thinking, guys? Do we like it more now, or I... more when we first heard it? I think. Um, I like it about the same, to be honest. Well, that is, back, uh, that's a controversial <laughs> opinion, isn't it? <laughs> it brings back memories, but it's annoying. Yeah, I mean, that's what you don't get, do you? Because on your first, it's difficult to have nostalgia <laughs> when you've heard it for the yeah. first time. Yeah. So. Oh, this takes me back. 
You've just started listening to it. <laughs> um, and also, once you've listened to it a million times, you actually know, well, I mean, I know at least two or three of the lyrics. And <laughs> yeah, say. and I can, I can sort of pretend to know most of them, because I know just the mouth tune. along. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, That's what no, I tend to do no, quite no. a lot, actually. It's, oh, yeah, it's terrible. Especially, like, when you're going to sort of, you know, live gigs and stuff, mm, yeah. festivals, you know. Everyone's singing along. Oh, and you, you, you feel pressurised, don't you? Yeah. You feel pressurised to yeah. sort of sing something. So you can just kind of sort of hum loudly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the thing is, I, I sort of really like the sort of festival atsphere nearer the front of the crowds. Yeah. But of course the people near the front are the big, are fans. The big fans and they yeah. know every single song and I'm up there <laughs> going, and what, you know, one of them will turn to me and I thought, oh yeah, the Red Album. That was, <laughs> that, that, that was, was where it was one. at. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they had not. They had a red album. Yeah, yeah, not as good as their earlier work. They got, yeah, yeah, exactly. I just re- fall back on. Oh, I don't know. Before they were famous, not as good as their first album, and then they go, that was their first album. <laughs> <laughs> After, I've done, one of the things which annoys me, not about the rock star song, but the music video. Have you seen the music video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. well, it's just the laziest thing when the music director just gets a load of people to, to just sing sing along. Some of the lyrics. <laughs> that is, oh, it well, just angers me. Well, you say it's lazy, but at least those people know the lyrics. <laughs> unlike, yeah, at least they've true. taken the time to remember some of them, unlike us. I'm like, well, I mean, well, that's cut an option out of us, mm, so we yeah. will never be on a music video, I suppose. Well, mm. you say that now, but we are open to requests. <laughs> so, uh, to get in contact. If you've got a music video to make, then yeah, we'll contact be, our agents. You're welcome to us. Uh, <laughs> um, I quite like I quite like Rockstar. It does take me back, and I've listened to it before uh, and recently on my own volition. Yeah, yeah, I've wow. actually played it so myself. You didn't, you didn't. Play the song, it. Didn't play the song and then moan about your choice. Which, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I only done that the past <laughs> fifty minutes. <laughs> well, we have. We have slagged off quite, I, uh, quite a lot of people. I'd like to take no. some time to apologise for my previous remarks about the lack of texts and emails. Um, sincerely, if you're unhappy with this apology, please text in to <laughs> 075-071-8777. Well, we've had a go at Alec. We've all had a go at each other. Yeah. We've had a go at the listeners. We've had a go at ITV. Yeah. And I think worst of all, we've had a go at Jim yeah. and his poor Armelo. Um, <laughs> surprisingly, um, I'm surprised that he was sad more about the buffalo dying because he would have had a, quite a big meal <laughs> <laughs> left yeah. over for Sorry, him. Sorry, Miles. What are you suggesting? <laughs> uh, nothing. Do you I'll often just... eat your pets? <laughs> <laughs> if it's if it's the way of tasty beef, them. then. Maybe, yeah. I mean, if he felt he felt more sad, sorry, if he mourned more about the loss yeah. of his buffalo yeah. than his father, yeah, does that make it more likely for him oh, to no. eat? Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! We're not. Well, on Miles' account, yes, because <laughs> Miles is a, a cold-hearted. Certain Ofcom regulations that, prevent me from saying what that. I think about Miles. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> not that anyone's listening, I, as we've um, already established, from you, Miles. <laughs> I would say that's quite a waste of good food, to be honest. Oh, um, are we talking about humans or buffalo? The, bu- the <laughs> buffalo thing. Okay. okay. If you just bury it. Less them. controversial. <laughs> yeah, slightly less. <laughs> if you had to just uh, have a, um, a ceremony and bury him, then that's just wasteful. wasteful. It's wasteful. Yeah. And also, if you change of, if you have a change of heart, you don't have to go to the trouble of like, <laughs> digging <laughs> that out. Oh, that's that's horrible. Horrible. I think you would go through that trouble, <laughs> to be honest. If you really, after owning a buffalo, you really wanted to eat some buffalo, <laughs> I don't think you'd think, get the shuffle. <laughs> I'll bury him until I'm a bit God. peckish. <laughs> yeah. This'll, he'll, he'll be preserved. Should we put him in a freezer? No. He'll be preserved in the dirt. <laughs> the warm dirt. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone off topic. We didn't really ever have a topic, <laughs> did we? Um, hey, um, well, yeah, so we go back to our uh, would you rather buffalo. We haven't had your opinion, James, on this matter. Um, I... D- I'm sorry, shall we just refresh the listeners? Uh, so would you rather <laughs> yeah. is, would you rather be a buffalo and be owned by... Jim. By Jim. Or would you rather be Jim... <laughs> and own a buffalo. <laughs> and own a buffalo. Well, judging by 
Miles' comments in particular... Are you I hungry at the minute? I think I'm safer being Jim than I am the <laughs> buffalo. Because it, it seems like any time Jim gets peckish, he just bites into his own pet and chows down. Is that, is that what we're being led to believe, Miles? Um, not, not while they're alive, of course. That would be oh, right, okay. quite mean. I didn't realise you, you had a distinction. I just assumed whilst you're in Wales and that sort of pet walked in. Pet? Sheep. <laughs> Pet sheep walked in? You yeah, said, I think oh, it was you're a up. <laughs> I, I yeah, fancy I mean, a bit of lamb. Did, yeah. did a Welsh do that? I mean, we, we, I mean one, I of the, don't, one, I one of the listeners did text in and say they just walk freely around the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, something walks freely around my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but all students, I'm saying. students are often very lazy, don't want to go to a supermarket, can't mm. be bothered. Don't waste your money on a takeaway. <laughs> Move to yeah. Wales and just play a waiting Wait game. till a sheep walks in. <laughs> <laughs> we should, we should uh, mention that we in no way condone cruelty to animals, and this is all in jest. All in jest. That's, a, uh, that's another person we've criticised today, the Welsh, with their uh, yeah, sheer yeah. number of sheep that they have. I don't think that's a criticism, that's a compliment. Yeah. That's a compliment, if anything, boy. <laughs> that's, that's definitely not. That's a really no bad one would Welsh think accent. you're part Welsh. I am part James Evans, come on. <laughs> the amount of sort of your nationality switches. <laughs> when it suits me. When it suits you. <laughs> Depending on who's winning the, uh, at your favourite sport. Whether, <laughs> whether or not the football's being played or the rugby's being played. I mean. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to be Welsh when the football's being played. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. Brian Giggs. And that's all I have to say on the matter. <laughs> I think it's best if we don't divulge into uh, football matters. Yeah. I don't think that's our like area. I don't think that's our area, especially video games <laughs> and uh, uh, computer eating, hardware. Eating your pets. Eating your pets. That's why I'm all up our street. Yeah. Um, Criticising each other. Criticising each other and other people yeah. who, are, who are tuning in, trying to support us. Criticising Thank them. you. If well, you're happy with that, thank you. Well, Please text it. It is too late now. Okay. And in fact, on that on that topic, we are running out of time. Oh, so I wow. think so we are. We've managed That's to sort of ramble on for a good <laughs> ten minutes uh, between the last song. Uh, we got a final song. Yeah. Yes, yep. we do. Um, this one, um, the text about me uh, being surprised that people know my cool songs. Uh, you can't do the quotation marks in the studio. You have to I was doing things. quote marks with my fingers. Um, <laughs> this one is a song that reminds me of that cool song. Quotation which, marks. <laughs> with the quotation marks. <laughs> um, this is Ed Sheeran, You Need Me, I Don't Need You. Uh, we've been Faces for Radio. I'm James Evans. I'm Miles Poole. And I'm Alex Friendly. Thanks for listening, and we leave you with Ed Sheeran. Thank you very much. <laughs>